Welcome back to Crushed Souls. Welcome back, everybody. I'd like to start this episode off by saying a massive thank you to the subscribers who appear to have been picking up rather nicely in the, what, two weeks since the channel's been going? Well, yeah, the, the, the two weeks since the channel's been going, <laughs> but by this point it would have been like, by the time this video comes out, we would have been going for about a month. Yeah, yeah. So, so well, hopefully it would have increased by then as well. So yeah, but, time of recording. But yes, as I say, I'd like to say a massive thank you to everyone who follows us. Hope you enjoy what we do and um, are enjoying our kind of half serious, half jokey playthrough of a game series that we both love. We're, we're even being half serious. We're we're enjoying ourselves. I yeah. think that's I think that's the main point. As as we should be. Yeah, yeah. I had a thought as well, um, potentially, because what with the 22nd of March rolling around soon, Sekiro Shadows Die Twice is released. It is. Now, I'm probably going to be picking that up on day one. So, I don't know. Should we kind of do a double whammy? We could we could continue with uh, Sekiro and Demon Souls at the same time. That sounds like a lot of work. It does. But, you know, brand new release game. Well, I was thinking because like Demon Souls is so old. Mm. See it. Nice one. When Sekiro or Sekiro comes out, uh, taking a break from Demon Souls. Yeah. And doing Sekiro. But we'll see. I know that we're definitely going to be doing it as and when it comes out. Precisely. Because Christ knows, I want to play it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, anything that is even remotely linked to the Tenchu series is, yeah. gets my vote, definitely. I should probably point out as well, as you can probably <laughs> tell from the fact that I'm cutting through these guys like butter uh, during recording sessions because we got battered so badly in the... Hey, buddy. Oh, get off. Because we got so badly massacred in the uh, the last episode... And this trap is where you died. Uh, yeah, I... Um, so, look at that. Not even a problem. I've been running this area a little bit. I bet, yes. To uh, get some souls. Because you can get a decent amount of souls from here. In like a quick two or three minute run, you can get about 3,000. Mm. And then if you take on the um, guy down there to the right with the two katanas... Yeah. He drops like a good 1,000, 2,000 almost. Have you had a go at tackling the vanguard again? No, I was waiting for you to be here before I did that. Ah, fair enough. Because continuity is a beautiful thing. Yes. I just wanted to make sure that nothing much got missed. Because I, I, because we started this whole like adventure and we like people to be a part of it. I don't want to skip things. Like if I'm grinding, then that doesn't matter because yeah, it's just yeah. boring, repetitive. Like let's basically stay in exactly the same places that we've already been in and uh, yeah, you're just make... souls for a while. Yeah, you're just making us more prepared and, uh, well, for the uh, the continuation of our journey. Yeah, and it makes it more interesting for viewers out. because they don't have to continuously watch eight episodes of somebody repeatedly doing the same thing over and over again just to level up. Unless it's dying, at which point <laughs> yeah, we apologise. Yeah, that's in, in which case that's what yeah, heavy, so heavy editing here. helps. Down here, there's a dude with two samurai swords. Yeah, now see, this bit here is where the enchanted falchion sword is. Yeah, the one got, you've got that. I'll take I'll it. Picked it up. Yeah, <laughs> I was gonna say because that's that's kind of the yeah. uh, the well, at least from what the uh, the special edition of the game's walkthrough tells me, is like a very very good kind of overpowered starting weapon. Yeah, ours is better. Yeah, because I've leveled ours up as well. I I noticed. It was only taking three hits to cleave through those skelly demons. The yeah. skeleton warriors. And we can roll now. So. Yeah, we can actually roll. So I'm going to have a go at doing this guy again. Well, it's the same. He's got the same moveset as he did in the original area. You just have less space to fight it. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're doing some fair amount of damage. Skeleton warriors. Did you ever watch that? Skeleton warriors? Yes. Yeah. How good wow, was that? Wow, he hurts. Well, yeah, he's a big boy. He eats his greens. Oh, speaking of which. What was what? Oh, he's bleeding. Yes. Well, that's the best thing about having a, uh, a slashing sword. Nicely, nicely. I think you're going to easily take him down. Got him down past the third. 
So you're talking about Skeleton Warriors? Yes, yeah. Um, really, really good uh, cartoon series, if I remember. Um, with a great theme tune. And the... Oh, shit oh, off. Oh, dear. Right. Let's try that again. I rolled the wrong way. That was my <laughs> fault entirely. Yeah. Bested by the golden axe. Yeah. I'm going to kill him, though, because I've got a point to prove. So, yeah. Uh, Kick-ass cartoon. With yeah. Kick-ass bits and... Yeah. And uh, it, the, the toys, especially, were insanely detailed. I think my brother actually had the entire collection and it always annoyed me that in the cartoon there were four main protagonists in the good guys and one of them was never made into an action figure. No? No. I think it was, there was a dude with a beard um, who looked a little bit like uh, Man, of, no, Man of War or Man at Arms from He-Man and he was never made into a figure. No? No. But they were kind of uh, like really highly detailed with little gemstones for eyes on the skeleton warriors and lots of nice weathering. Yeah, I'm debating whether or not to kind of have a bit of a browse through eBay and start collecting them. Uh, well, see, the other thing, the other thing that I'm, um, well, I mean, you know me, I'm massively into collecting things from my childhood that I don't still have yeah. sequestered in a loft somewhere. But um, mask, as in, you know, the one with the cars yeah you know those mighty yeah. fighters that can save the day but um the toys were superb like really really well made um they looked like what they were supposed to they had all the features from the cartoon and they were just great fun and yeah i did a bit of a i did a bit of a, an ebay browse and oh yeah my my wallet's not that rich are they a bit spicy? Are they, they are very spicy. If you're trying to get a hold of like um, a mint inboxed version of Rhino, which was that big Peterbilt truck uh, that Matt Tracker used to drive, I, I found never one. Masks. So All oh, right. Well, I found one on eBay inbox, and it was a grand and a half. Really? Yeah. I think that's just the usual thing of people playing on your nostalgia. Yeah. But um, yeah, I've. It was it was thirty quid when I were a nipper. That's insane. Yeah. But then, of course, we are talking about the 80s, so 30 quid back then from Argos is probably... It's probably about a thousand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I had I had all of them, and I really do regret selling them, because they were a lot of them were based on real cars. Um, and Wait, they you had sold all, them, did you? I, well, I think I gave them away, because I was probably too young to, to sell them. eBay was not a thing, and, you know, car boot sales, we never really did. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, they 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 all they were mainly all sort of based on kind of like classic <coughs> classic muscle cars and things from the states. Is that where you got your like big love for cars from, or did you? Um, I mean, my love for cars came from my dad because he's he's pretty much owned American classic cars for most of his life, and right. um, he, well, he currently owns a 1962 Cadillac, oh, nice. which um, is essentially a car that you don't you don't drive you you know you just kind of pilot the thing because it's massive. Oh, you bastard. And um, yeah, he we we just kind of we just kind of always had that connection. Yeah. It was always a, a love of classic fifties cars with you know all the fins and the chrome. Yeah, and it's it's never it's I've never lost it to this day. I'll see something and I just be like, oh yeah, yeah, nineteen ninety sixty six Camaro. Yeah, I love that. Nice. Yeah. I think this is probably one of the reasons why I don't drive in London because if I'm going to drive, I want my first car to be something uh, of that ilk. You died. I did. I know what mistake I made as well. You rolled into the axe? No, I rolled backwards instead of sideways. Into the axe. Demon souls and dark souls, you roll sideways. It's bloodborne, you hop backwards. Yes. Yeah, the back step, I, uh, I think I've said before, in the strange play dark souls, a move I've never used because... Well, it's not very quick, and most enemy attacks... I want to know what that Souls remains for. Uh, what does it say in the inventory? Uh, the, it attracts things that want souls? Oh, it's like the... Um, do you remember in Dark Souls, there's that bit with a pig, and you can throw the item into the fire, so he runs into oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's one of them, but just under a different name. Right, okay. So if we do find any hazards, then we can obviously lure... Old skelly bones and, and some bosses will go and attack it and whatnot. I'm not so sure about bosses, but then again, it's an item I've never used myself. So maybe there is a boss that you can exploit. Maybe because there's a similar item in Bloodborne. Yes, and I know that you can 
use it against the blood starved beast, then she'll just keep attacking the corner that you throw it into. Mm. Fantastic. Look at this. Nicely done. Well, you say nicely done. I think I'm doing fucking dreadful at the moment. Well, yeah, to be fair, if we were still where we were without all the levelling up, this would have taken many, many attempts. Yeah, that's true. But I do remember this area is full of bastards. There's a bit later on which, um, yeah, I think we may have uh, a little bit of a stumbling block. Yeah? Yeah. I certainly did when I first played. <laughs> But again, you know, I'm, I'm better now. Why can't I get the backstab? I just, I can never get a backstab. Um, good question. It's all about. I think it's. I think it's the angle that you yeah, just get them from. It's not directly from the back, is it? No. It's kind of to the side. Ever so slightly, yeah. See, if this was Tenchu, it'd just be, you know, run up behind, press square, and watch excellent instant death. Yeah. Uh. Right, come on, Mr. Vanguard. It's time for you to meet your maker. And it's me. Oh, okay. You're using the force this time around. Yeah. Do you want to grab your souls? No, they can wait. Yeah, that's. I think that's doing a fair amount of damage. I need him to come out though, so I can actually roll behind him better. Mm. I don't actually think he's really gonna kind of gonna move from there, is he? He seems content to stay in his little spot and guard the corner. Ouch. But he is nearly down to half. In fact, I spoke too soon. He is down to half. Just keep cleaving away at his meaty buttocks. His meaty buttocks. That sounds delicious. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, yeah probably in uh, some sort of American food hall somewhere. Ivan's meaty buttocks. Go go go! Yes. There we go. Yes. Look at that. Oh shit! I. Oh. <laughs> For nine hundred and fifty-eight, a grey demon soul. I lost seven thousand. <gasps> when was this? Was first this off, time, was this off camera? No, first time I died against him, mm. I just lost seven thousand. You got a lot of items to go pick up in the corner. Yeah. Which corner? Uh, there was one over there. Oh, one over here. Yeah. Well, I've less of that. That's yeah. That's the um, now that you've killed the uh, what's it called? Now you killed the vanguard. The big manta ray things will start attacking. Well, you didn't tell me that, did you? That's because the, I remember from one of the last episodes, you were like, oh, I want to discover things. So I'm like, okay, I'm keeping my mouth mm. shut apart from Well, the... when it comes to shit like that... <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> Damn it. Because I've just made it more difficult for the both of us. Surprise, motherfucker. That was cheeky. See, that's the one I was thinking of where... Why, bleh, why I turned around. Look, secret walls. Oh, look! You're backstabbed. Oh, see, this is bad. Oh, yeah, but like backstabbing against an enemy that's just kind of there. <laughs> Look, don't, don't, don't knock yourself. You, you got him. I did. I got him good. So this is where, I'm assuming, this is where the inspiration for the, uh, the pinwheels came about. Let's give you an enemy that does lots of stamina damage if you block. And oh, you're shit. stuck in a tight corner. There. There's a guy there. Yeah. Have we got a key to open the door? Can we break this door open? Oh, that's Patches, I think. Mr. Hyena? Yeah. Oh, you saved me. Heavens, I can't believe I fell for that trap. I suppose I owe you now. I'm Grave Robber Blige. Oh, no. As thanks, I can provide you with useful goods. Who couldn't do with a little help down in these parts? Smashing. What can we get? Got some grass, got some spice. Soul uh, main. Shards. Sky Mitar. Which, yeah. Yeah, because I'll show you. Actually, I don't Nothing think I'm carrying it. Don't be too frugal. A bit of indulgence goes a long way. Does it now? Uh, yeah, what have, you, what have you been 
Oh, right, okay, plus five, yes. Yeah, so the Sky Mitar is, yes. like, hitting with 120. So it's... Because I tried to look to see if I could put the the Fauci in the, or whatever. Oh, the enchanted one, yeah. Yeah, if I could power it up, if I could level it up, but I couldn't. No. So it actually hits with considerably less than what we're hitting with anyway. Yeah. Lovely. Well, we're here now. Yeah. We'll carry on. Let's. Oh, no. Yep. That wasn't Just a wall. That was attack a... every wall. <laughs> that was a uh, a corner. That's the break of no. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> that is. He is. He is as well. Hit him. Oh, there's, there's two of them. Yeah. That's not very nice. Because two of them in an enclosed space can suck a frog. Suck a frog? Yeah. Is that a... Uh, is no, that a... it's just a reptilian reference. It's not, it's not a long colloquial way of eating a Freddo. Sucking on a frog. Yeah. I probably want a Freddo now. <laughs> what, the, the regular bar or the Freddo faces? Because they're, they're branching out into miniatures now. I want one from the 90s, mate. Oh, what's it? Where so, it cost yeah. 15p. Yeah. And it was delicious because it had proper Cadbury chocolate in it. But where is he? He's down there. But There's about... so so many of them. I yeah. Just couldn't fucking see what I was fighting, man. But what about Taz? Do they were to... great as well. They were great. They were just basically Freddos but with caramel, and I fucking adore caramel. They were Freddos but with Taz on them, and Taz is much cooler than Freddo. He is because he's a devil, not a frog. You've, yeah, we're now back to where we were, aren't we? Yeah, but we've opened shortcuts. Yes, we have. <laughs> we've opened shortcuts <laughs> to get us back to exactly where we were. A shortcut in a place that we didn't need shortcuts. I'm pretty sure there's an item up here, though, so it's not a completely wasted effort. There's no such thing as wasted effort in these games. I don't know, the you, last two episodes off... were a bit of a <laughs> waste. No, 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 you, go, run off, you run off the beaten path and you're guaranteed you're either going to find a shortcut or a switch or... <laughs> An item. Scurvy, give Sparkly me. Give Twinkly me. Talk properly and uh I think it's no no go, turn around. Oh okay. Right. Here we got Been after that one for ages. Well you got it now. Yeah. And I'm I think the uh the, the talky thing. Oh, oh okay. Oh, we'll get get rid of him. Yeah, I th I think it's the um No they're, no, they're not in they're not in Dark Souls. Um, I think it's a crow, and right. I think you give him items. Why are you dandruffing all over the place? Because I've got a magic arrow in me. Oh, okay, fine. From this guy. Look at him being all cheeky and all that. Go on. They are. Enjoyed. Oh, nice. We've got a compound bow and some arrows. I thought we already had the bow. No. No, I think we had a bow. I don't know. I know we had a crossbow at one point. <laughs> it feels like it's been that long, but it's only been a week. <laughs> we'll carry on up here and go and... I think it's the tree. We'll carry on up here, like carrying. Uh, yeah, yeah. They made that joke in, uh, um, in, in Game Grumps, so we're back to steaming material. Did they? Yes, they did. Yeah. The joke was about carrying luggage on a plane. What? Yeah, you said carry on, didn't you? And then you pointed at the dead. Yeah. So they made a joke about being on a plane and, oh, what's that? It's my carry and luggage. Oh. <laughs> oh, That's yeah. the overly sarcastic laugh. That wasn't a Game Grumps joke. Oh, my. Mine, it was. Mine was funnier than that. <laughs> Tell that to. Well, that was, that was actually from the. Uh, the, the, well, there. the John Tron era. Before then, yeah. the fans kicked off. <laughs> Well, look, this seems like a good place to leave it for today because I've been going on for ages and didn't, wasn't keeping track of the time. So thank you very much for watching. And uh, you didn't really hear any of that because that fucking golem bird was talking over us. So see you next time. Until next time, folks.